Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the red-headed vulture. I already made a video on that but I am making it again. So here we go. The red-headed vulture is a medium sized vulture uh, that is compared to other vultures. They are quite gigantic actually. 76 to 86 centimeters tall. I mean you gotta admit that's very very tall for other birds but not vultures. Okay, moving on. They have quite a big wingspan, 6.5 to 8.5 feet. They have prominent naked red heads, which means they have no hair whatsoever or feathers or fur or whatever. It's completely red and naked. Uh, yeah. And they have lappets around the sides of their necks, which is basically overhanging patches of skin, hence its name. These are mostly used for intimidation and heat exchange for their body. Moving on, they have black bodies with a grey stripe around their flight feathers. The gender are not that much different except for their irises. Males have a pale whitish iris while the females have completely brown ones. This is what differentiates them most. The red-headed vulture is distributed mainly in the Indian subcontinent. But back in the 90s, it was, it was spread all the way down to Singapore. And now let's get to that. The red-headed vulture is a critically endangered species because of humans. Humans have been using a drug called diclofenac in cattle and because it's home in the Indian subcontinent, people are not allowed to eat cattle. So they don't eat beef and stuff like that. So the vultures end up eating the cattle and they die because the diclofenac drug kills the vultures causing kidney failure, uh, kidney failure, coma and then death in the vultures. That's quite brutal but that's the sad reality of it. Yes, yeah, so diclofenac is used widely in India. So firstly, the red-headed vultures were very very common back in the 19s. But within a decade, they reduced so much. First, they reduced slowly going to vulnerable and but then when the increase of diclofenac happened it dropped drastically and till today it is on critically endangered on the IUCN red list of endangered species we need to save the vulture otherwise it will go extinct it's on the edge of falling off and we might never see it again Vultures are very important parts of our ecosystem. They help clean up uh, things such as carcasses which pollute ground, water, ground, air and water. They are a big service to us. But if we do not care about them, then they might go extinct. And we would have a very very hard time living. Thank you everyone for watching the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.